Now follow. If they was really truly following the teachings from Leonard Owell time and unify like what Leonard Owell was showing them, then they would have been the people that that Eileen Selassie come to see. But there is a movement that happened in Jamaica when we tell most Rastafari today don't even know and don't even think and don't even realize that that is the first infiltration of Rastafari. It was when in the 60s. When Granny used to tell me all the time Sparks and feet and preparation combined The road been right here all this time But you gotta look with more than your eyes And small acts just arrived representing for I just our mindset Rich forever That is an interesting <laughs> thing because what the man them doing now? The man them gradually do this thing, you know. I remember if you remember when cell phone just started to come out, you know. When cell phone just started to come forward, there was nothing for you to store numbers. See, none of these things that you have on the cell phone now, you didn't have on cell phone because when cell phone was coming out like in you know, the 80s, you see a man with a Big, a big thing with a big, big rubber antenna, yeah. see, and it was all made by motor roller, see, and you see a man with a car phone in a, in a briefcase, yeah, you remember them one day, yeah. right, so those were the things that they come forward with first, to see how it was going to receive, so now all of a sudden now, them start to think, well, wait, you could remember all 50 different telephone numbers, so them say, all right, we have to take away that ability. Mm. So now we give a place to store the numbers in the phone. See? And so all of a sudden now you put every phone number inside of your phone. So you now have to think about what is John number? What is Mary number? Mm. You see, your, your mind is, is slowly closing down. Yeah, true, true. I so, remember. Remember number when we used to call even today. Remember you see it. Number you see it. Yeah. So you see how powerful this is. But the man, the man removed the power and I put it in on this thing. Mm. So this now is where the intelligence come in. They take it from here and they put it here. So for instance, you go at a place one time. More than likely you could go back to that place because you use your mind to see markers and streets and all of these things. The new generation now, if one day them drive out on the street and then open them phone and the phone decides to have no service. No GPS. No GPS. Yeah. They can't go from, they can't even find their, maybe their own house. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, see it, but that is what it, they, they are taking the they are taking the thing out of your mind, put it in a device that the device do think and the device do everything for you. So now you are just a robot walking around. It is the zombified era that we are living in. That people are zombified and don't know that they are the zombies, but they are looking at the Michael Jackson thriller movie and think that they're going to see some people rise up out of cemetery and a zombie that no they are telling you they're going to zombify you and it's a zombifying effect that is being done on the people without the people realizing so they're thinking a zombie apocalypse it's here already so it is really another level of witchcraft there. ah see? exactly mm. you see it but we know when i follow that Unless you wake up out of the sleep that them put you in, you know, because the only way to control the African thing you know, is a sleep them put us underneath, you know, right? Them put us into a state. Yeah, them put us into a hypnotic state, meaning that you are walking around, you know. See, because otherwise them couldn't do anything to you without being keeping you and having you in a hypnotic state where you think that you're conscious, you're awake. No, you're not awake. That is why it says there's a veil that is over our face. They put a veil over our face without we knowing. So that's why a man can go sit down in a church for hours and hours. You're there, Africa, right? So, and you hear a church running seven days a strong. 
seven days can have call, they can call it strong, a week, mm -hmm. because it's the weak mind that is in the church. Seven days, so will you have time to go make money? So everything you work, you're giving it to the church. So and no matter what you do to those people, they are, it's like you're talking to the wall. God, they are unresponsive. It's just like when a person gets into a coma, they say the person is unresponsive. They are alive, but they are, you know. So you think you think that Christianity is another level of witchcraft also? That is the biggest level of witchcraft. The biggest level of witchcraft is Christianity because none of it really makes no sense. When you sit down and you examine this thing in a detailed bedroom, you can't, you, all right, now I'll show you. A bridge in a mind called me the other day. He is of no affiliation with Christianity. Right? And he called me and he said, he says, he says, brother Quaker, I have some question for you. He said, yeah, man. I said, sure. So he started reasoning. He said, I've been reading the Bible. I said, yeah. He said, yeah, man, but can I tell you what I figured out? He said, it's a book of war. I said, oh, I said, yeah. It's a book of war, for real. He said, look here, all I see in the Bible is about this killing out people, taking away their land, killing. He said, it's just like what the white people are going around doing. I said, I said, you know why you see that? Because I said, you've never been affiliated with any religion. Because that's exactly what the Bible is. It's a book of war. War, especially on African people. Mm -hmm. You know, see, to tell you that there's a man, there's a person up in the sky will give them the right to come and take away your land and your resources them and keep you in a bandage. And him... Sign that because you commit some sin. I dread too. <laughs> <laughs> I dread. If you see, when you sit down and check the thing in the bedroom, because I tell people, say, look here, I've read the book more, more than six, seven times I've read the book. And I didn't just read the book, read the book, but I studied the book. Because I was in religion. At a particular time in my life, where they want to push I up into the religion, so them was kind of you know they try to groom you, you know where they want. So I used to stand up and preach to people. See, so when I sit down now and I step away from the thing, you know, because you have to step out of the game in order to see the game. See, if you're inside of the game, as you say, in the box, or you ever see outside of the box. So when you step out of the thing. Then everything starts open up to you. And I see the thing for what it is because what I realize with religion, they don't want you to get, get involved with any, if you, if, let's say, a Seventh day Adventist or a Jehovah's Witness or any religion, they don't want you to be affiliated with any other religion. So come to know, and I start to study the things in a whole different light to realize that every religion is a cooperation. And a cooperation of what? A cooperation of your own. No care what religion it is, they are a cooperation of your own. If you're Muslim, Seventh day Adventist, Jehovah's Witness, Baptist, Catholic, with Protestant, you name it, it's all a cooperation. That's why Rome, Vatican City, is the second richest place on earth. Where the money coming from? All of these religious affiliations. Interesting. So what, 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 what the I thought and his majesty being a Christian and also um, not just any Christian, it's not the, the, the Eurocentric Christianity that Same. we used to. Same. And um, his majesty also speaking about the Bible saying that if when you read it, mm -hmm. you will you will find truth yeah. within it. Well, there is truth in there, you know. See, because I'm going show you something. There's never, man, there's never been a man named really David. Kind of African named David. Mm. See? So the story of David and Goliath, what you see in the Bible. Right? And Samson and Delilah. David and Goliath is speaking of the system. The system seems like a Goliath. If you go up against it. Mm. 
we are the David, but we don't know. Seeing the same thing with the Samson and Delilah story. Why is it that they are always fighting against the African here? Because it's in your hair where the strength lies. This is that the hair, the hair, it collects information from out of the cosmos. Mm. This one I deal with. So they know that the African here is a very special here. That's why they said Samson had seven locks. Delilah is always trying to deceive Samson to tell her where the strength is. So once them find where the strength is, what them do now? If you listen to the story, you know, them cut out Samson locks and then realize Samson become weak so them can bind him. So just like when our own people give them the secret to who we are, they must be able to bind us and control us, to take out our eyes, so to speak. Because when they carry us to the, to the West mm -hmm. and beat our name and our language and everything out of us, we become like Samson, weak. Because we don't have the power anymore. This one I do. So the reality now is that this Christian, this Bible thing is a plagiarized book. So there is truth in it. Because you can't tell a lie without truth. Truth is never hidden. In. They use distraction to cover it all. Because they, they couldn't survive if they don't put the truth here. Okay. So they had to put the truth along with the lie in order to control I and I. So, so the emperor was showing man said, look here, if we were wise as Africans, then we would have been a better place. Because Emperor Ailes Selassie I was showing Rastafari because even when he come to Jamaica, when, when he come to Jamaica in at that time and I deal with Rastafari, he realized Rastafari really a lot of them didn't really know themselves like that. And that was the problem because the emperor carry money to give to Rastafari because him think him come come say a whole set of revolutionaries. But when he realized no he couldn't even give them the money, he must give it to the government. And the government didn't bring the money because he think that Rastafari was more oh, organized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Centralized. You see it? Mm -hmm. That's why you know he give them land to so come. In see him? He give them the land to so come. Because if you come yourself, then you can develop your liberty in the country. You know, see, with the teachings. But the man then. Now, follow. If they was really truly following the teachings from Leonard Owell time and unify like what Leonard Owell was showing them, then they would have been the people that that Ailey Selassie come to see. But there is a movement that happened in Jamaica. I'm tell most Rastafari today don't even know and don't even think and don't even realize that that is the first infiltration of Rastafari. It was when in the 60s when the hippie movement started. The hippie movement came to Jamaica by England, Canada and the US to destroy Rastafari. Ask any Rastaman today, if the hippie movement was a true movement, where are the hippies today? If it was not CIA, we That's a very interesting point. A very interesting point. Now tell you, Because the, the, the hippie today, let a lot of people think that it is Bob Marley other than Emperor Ailes Selassie. You see it? Yeah. So they infiltrate Rastafari through the Ipi movement. Okay. And demand them never really keep them eye open because them start to see. How can your colonizer daughters and sons come? and want to live among you as if nothing ever happened. When you're still in a bandage and you say, Africa mm. is the king. Yeah. You see, so that's why I showed the virgin them all the while, Mr. Virgin. We lose the way because we allow these people to come to us, pumping money through 12 tribes and all of these different ones, and carry come land us in a way we better today. 
because they realize the power of Rastafari. Rastafari is the powerfulest movement that ever developed in Jamaica to free the people then. So my dear, it's not, was not the Maroons that was going to free Jamaica and all, it is Rastafari. That is why when you come on the continent, because then you come a Ghana right as about it. You see the, you see the power of Rastafari have when they sight you. Because they was expecting something different from Rastafari. But Rastafari show the people them no kind of true liberty. God them lose them way. God them still looking to the oppressor for freedom. When Rastafari did already be free. Yeah. 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 So we don't need no validation from the one. But did say, look here, if they don't want to come in at them studio, we have a bill one. And if they don't want to fly in at them plane, we have a bill one. You know, see it. So that's so. And that's why they couldn't take a man like Bob. You know. Sometimes people say, why I talk about Bob? Bob is a man that didn't care how you feel about him. He just come to talk truth. You know, see, and the music speak and everything about Bob. Even Bob used them. None of them never walked in the steps of them, of them far. Not one of them virtue because this man was on a different vibration. Wasn't about money, wasn't about material things. He before, as he marched away, the man said to himself, if he's rich, he said, what is riches to you? He said, you don't have a lot of money. He said, you call money riches. So that is a wise man to know, sir. Money could never be riches. Mm. One must reach from within. Because if I and I reach from within, what is it that I'm going to be lacking on the outside? No man can make I chase a piece of paper. If I didn't want, if I wasn't in that gradation, I would still be in America. Because that is where the paper chasing is. Mm. But I dare so, I don't need that. It's not a matter of I don't need to live. But I know how to live when I can, when my virgin can come, I say, come to my house. See, I have some water in the apple, or I have some June plum. See, I have some yam, or some meals, or different, different things. And I will call them and say, virgin, you know, some of the things they really. Come over here, so, banana, planting, everything. They want us from my gifts. Come full joy yourself, see, man. That is liberty. You see? You know? So we lose that precious thing when I was growing up in a Jamaica where all of the elders them in our community used to go and work each other field. And there was no money exchange. But every man had them land. Every man, this man planting pumpkin, that man planting gumbo, that man planting corn, this man was planting cereal, the other man was planting this, and they are always sharing with each other. Those was the thing when we used to have the love among each other. But we dash for all of that because what we want to live amongst the oppressors. And to be equal with them. You see it? Mm -hmm. Not it. How that to all to happen, baby? Me and them can't be equal. You know, see it? Me and them can't be equal. And that is what the tell man say. Because when you speak the truth, I'm not going to say he's a racist and you have to be I said, I'm a racist, baby. What is racist? I said, look here, you see a lion? Even though the lion and the tiger look similar, you see them in the same place? Mm -hmm. They know how to live away from each other. The cheetah don't live with the lion. They are all in the same family, but still. Yeah, they coexist. You see it? Mm -hmm. But everyone knows them place. Yeah, man. Okay. So we will say, the animals, them, they are animals. No, they are very wise. It's just we not living with nature as we're supposed to. Because if we was living and allowing nature to teach us, we would be more wise. We need to understand how the animals live. You see it? Because look here, a man say, oh, the lion, they kill animals. No, the lion, they kill only to eat. If a lion kill a gazelle, and him see a thousand gazelle passing by, it's as if they're not there. Because he want to kill for score for next year and next mm. week, just in case the gazelle in the pass by. That, that, you know, worry about that. That nature yeah. will provide. You know, I feel for on the future. You see it? You see it? So we lose them living today. Yeah, we you know, see it? 
when we used to, we grew up in Jamaica, Virgin. When I grew up in a Jamaica, St. Catherine country, bush up in the mountain, we come from. We had no refrigerator. <laughs> you know, see, so how much meat you have to kill? How much meat you have to put out? True. You know, see, from the soil. You see, it? we eat from the soil, brethren. You eat your kalaloo, you get your aki, you get all of these things out of nature your pineapple, your banana, your star apple. Everything of its season will come to give you what you need. You know, see, but we, those are the things that we run away from. Because we want to be in the artificial world. Well, it's just our simulation. Ah, exactly. Exactly, but you have to free yourself from it at some point. Oh, definitely. For sure. You see? You have to know how to free yourself. They know that bad self. Only you can free yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our mind. See, that's why I'm all in you know, the same song and so on. I have no fear for atomic energy because none of them can stop the time. So when a man tell us, why have nuclear weapons? You don't worry about that. That's not your problem. You mm. must know what you have to do with it. See, I can't, I can't live my life based on your nuclear weapon. I can't live my life based on your gun. I have to live my life based on my liberty. So whatever you feel like you need over the sun, you have to have them things. Why you have to have them? What is it that you are afraid of? <laughs> you see, just like a man come to Africa, and he will tell you, boy, I can't live in Africa, they don't have good medical, they don't have hospital, they don't have this, they don't have that. <laughs> Why you are afraid? Is it because your liberty is not right? Because if you was living by nature and work with nature, what hospital are you going to need? What medical are you going to need? What insurance are you going to need? You are your insurance. You are your medical. Everything in nature is there to feed you. Make sure that you are well taken care of. Reality. That's reality. You must see it. So, me, when I come here, I think about none of them things. Because none of them things they don't have nothing to do with that. Anymore. Come on, if you live right, then you shouldn't have a thing about hospital and... You see it? Yeah, yeah. yeah man, you have to just know the thing better. You can see everything, every sickness your man can have. You go right out in the field yes, and speak to nature. And nature will speak to you and show you what is it that you need to use for that sickness, to cure that sickness. That is the ancient indigenous way. And that point, we are going to break and another time we are going to chat forward again. This is the Mindset Program. I just stand an host and I'm here with Brother Quaco and we are in the Abri Mountain. So, manners and respect, peace and love. Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just start the Mindset.